Actually, Flora said, <laughs> Flo said he's gonna put some shit together for us too. That's crazy. He said we need we need some intro shit. Yeah, so, I'll cook us up a beat, bro. No, I don't need you to do none of that shit. I'm not that for myself. <laughs> I got this shit under control. I ain't got to do. See how he told me how to how he told him about the DJ shit. See how niggas be hypocrites because it was a problem when he did it. You know what I'm saying? No, no, real shit. I'm just be like one of the mother niggas. You introduce me to like five different DJs, engineers, all that shit. I can do my own shit now. I don't even need you. <laughs> they know me. They know me. We was at the, uh, the Diamondback. Floor said he got me. Sunset said he got me. Oh, yeah. You in yeah. there. All I need you to do is write me a couple, you know. Then we up. We're going to go viral. Had E come up with the dance. Airwalk. Shit. <laughs> this Bye. I swear to God, I see E levitate. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I know I did. Man, hey, hip niggas be air walking like a motherfucker. Man, what was that? Uh, what was that other joint with Drake when it was like shoot, shoot? What was that? Mm, name? Shoot. Oh, that Memphis shit. Yeah, the shoot. shoot. That shit was funny as hell. Nail that. I got a video of him. I got. A, we gonna drop that clip. I got a video of him and Lofi doing that shit. It was the funniest shit ever, bro. I think it was like when they dropped. When it was like first drop. I ain't never seen nobody else do it. My leg was fucked up, so I was jealous I couldn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we back. Another episode. We're back. We're better back. late than never podcast. Better, 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 better late than never. I'm trying to figure something out. I'm gonna come up with something. That, that ain't it. A little intro. Thank you. <laughs> something. Yeah, yeah, we do need an intro though. <laughs> we should just steal the Drake sound bite. Still in this. Tough, you know, you it ain't it. really stealing. Borrowing. Yeah, he do it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, he notorious for it. <laughs> you know, I'm Paulo Frost. I'm pretty nice. Boulevard. It's your boy Mo Harlem. Special guest, pretty nice. How you doing? I'm doing How good. How was your hey, week? It was pretty good. Business was booming this week. So. Shout that business out. <laughs> what yeah. type of business are we talking about? I own a commercial cleaning company. Okay, um, stand on it. Service in Michigan and Toledo, Ohio. Stand on it. Um and pretty clean. Pretty, pretty clean. clean. Yeah. I seen the work. Listen, I ain't gonna lie. I, I try not to be judgmental, but you posted a video the other day. That house was terrible. She said, life be life in. Oh, no. <laughs> well, she's trying to, she's trying to protect her, her clients. They life be life in, I guess. Listen. <laughs> They work for her. The she magic you pulled off in that. I'm not even saying that because you. Would, I ain't comment on the post or nothing. I just I left it. I left it alone. I said when I see her, I'm gonna tell her. The transformation of that house. That shit was like some TV shit. Like, like fix my life type shit, bro. Oh, that fix my life. That shit was fucked up, bro. Like, ain't no way y'all been sitting in that house. And the what? Which man? What? They might as well just put you on a payroll. Just. Every so often, you gotta. I get them together. Yeah. So business was booming. So I mean, it's just there's a lot of dirty cribs. Niggas just just dirty. Niggas, uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, cribs, yeah, yeah. Right? It's more than cribs. I'm talking about warehouses. Yeah. I'm talking about um, spaces. That new Ross and Arbor. I just recently cleaned that. So oh, that's company, fire. So company yeah. bathrooms. So ugh, you know they trifling in there. Yeah, staff. Yeah, they get they get down. That's crazy. You know what? Hey, the more dirty, the more money. Yeah, dog. I be at work, bro, and I be I be peeing, and then peeing on the seats and everything. A dude, right. I hear, I hear a dude, I, I hear a dude come in there and slam the toilet seat down, shit straight down. No, don't no no money yeah. rap, no nothing. No savage, money rap. savage. <laughs> straight down, I be like, dog, ain't no way. Right, I don't even want to pee in here. Just, <laughs> you his ass on the toilet. Right, man. <laughs> so it's one of them, like, like one of the nastiest situations you had to like one of the craziest cribs you or yeah we're gonna say cribs then businesses and then if you don't say the one you just posted I'm scared it of you one, it was the one I just posted <laughs> so explain like the I situation was, oh it was serious um did they have cats no it was dog food but no animal oh, okay. well at least I didn't find one <laughs> Wait, what so dog food no animal I, it was very questionable we're talking about like <laughs> the, the, the shit from. Petco, we ain't, I hope, right? Petco, straight, okay. serious. Um, I didn't find an animal, but I had to, I had an anxiety attack in there. Yeah. It was kind oh, of shit. a little bit much. It was like, 
Um, because this is not just something that just happened. This has been months of Are someone in living in a space like this. And sometimes the clients don't know what's best for them, so I kind of make the choices sometimes, the decisions. Have you, ever, have you ever cleaned the house with, like, somebody that owns cats? Oh, no. You scared of cats? You don't like cats? Uh, I don't care for them. Fuck them, man. I'm a fish person. Yeah. No. Fish is easy to maintain. That's, that's, that's crazy. I already know it. I wouldn't either. Fish ain't, fish ain't no pet. That's decoration. Yeah. <laughs> no, they a pet. Cause shit. You can't pet it. Want... <laughs> shit. We all had a pet fish before, right? Yeah. Yeah. That bitch died like a motherfucker. Yeah. Down the no. Mine was a piranha. Ooh, those are nice. Piranha? Yeah, but all the piranhas ate each other. That's when you ain't feeding them. So you want feed feeding them? them? Yeah, I mean, they don't say that niggas was greedy. Them niggas, what if they? You know you go to jail for that. Bro, I fed the fish, bro. I was a kid. And they going to take me to jail? Shit, they coming back on old niggas. You see what happened with Diddy? What's Diddy now? Hey, what's Diddy now? I don't know. What that nigga say? Very questionable. What did he say? I'm blanking. Oh. <laughs> That's crazy. We dropped that clip too. That was that was wild. But anyway, what's up, everybody, man? What y'all going on? How's everything? How's your weekend? How's the week? I mean, week. Excuse me. Week was straight. Busy. Mine was crazy. Right. I went to the hoop game. Here on seen either here on Wayne Memorial. Shout out to them boys. That was Shout lit. Out. Shout out to Wayne Memorial. Shout out to. Aaron. It was a good game. Shout out to Max. Everybody to really Lowe's. a winner. That was a great game. Man, bro, you know what's so crazy? I wrote I wrote three of the pops on there. It was three dads on there. I wrote them like, yo, it was three of the best players on the courts. And then they had their dads in the in the in the in the stands on the side of the court, whatever. Like going to war with them. And we had a lot of phenoms that came in that bitch. A lot of them didn't even have them. You feel me? Mm-hmm. That could have made it and shit like that. So just shout out to the pops being there for their kids. Solid. With them. You feel me? When their heads was down, some of them lost. One of them had to win. One of them had to lose. But they all walked out that bitch winning, you feel me? They pops holding them down. Pops showing real sportsmanship. That shit crazy. I got my money's worth. Yeah. Hell yeah. That was a good guy. You was betting on it? No, I'm just saying paying to get in there, eating, uh-huh. the money I spent out. Yeah. I got I got my money's worth. I think high school basketball, just basketball in general starting to get back. You know, so okay, I was just asking, which I think is going to be more lit this year? Because last year, I think it was girls basketball. Did the uh, women's NCAA or men's NCAA? I said a women I mean, this year or next year. Last year was last year. I think it was women's. I think it's gonna be women's again. Yeah. Tiny, well, yeah, yeah. You gotta, yeah. You gotta it's, bigger Juju Juju it's bigger yeah. names. It's bigger names. Andrew Reese, Kaylin Clark, Clark, Clark it's bigger names. I don't, I don't, it's crazy, and I, I be on sports like a motherfucker. And I don't know a lot of niggas in college right now, bro. I think I know more girls. Like a different I, I, I know like girls. the Dillingham nigga. Yeah, I know Rob, but I think I know more girls right now. Or the hoop I definitely know more. I probably know more girls. Programs, coaches, all that shit. Like, that shit crazy. Uh-huh. Yeah, so I ain't doing no bracket or nothing. That shit a waste of time. I ain't even been. The college shit so unpredictable. Niggas fuck around and do a female bracket before they do a nigga bracket. Michigan not going to be in that bitch, I don't think. Michigan oh, no. Nah, hell no. Nah. And Howard up out of here. <laughs> what? No, they not. <laughs> I fuck with the fans. Juwan, you These you know, his right? recruits. But what? <laughs> They bring them back. Why are they leaving? They bring them back. What you back. drinking? Who? Me? It was Don Julio. Mm. Why you ask? I'm in Don Julio. My fault, bad host. That's mm. my bad. I got it from the barbershop. <laughs> you got it from to, the barbershop? Yeah, I was trying to get lined up before I got here and all that. Got the big dog. And I still ended up being That's big elite. Big. You got a shot while getting your shit cut? I'm trying to, but I didn't get in the chair because I was about to be late. How many years you had your business? Uh, I started taking it serious maybe six months ago. Like six months ago? But I've been cleaning, like, since high school. So. <laughs> I'll be cleaning you got all a plan life. or end game? Or um, next step? Yes. Um, so, I'm going to cut out residential completely, stick with commercial accounts, and then I'm dropping my own um, multi-purpose cleaner, like my own glass cleaner, my own That's sponges. Right. Trash bags and mm-hmm. kind of keeping it in the loop with products to reach a larger audience because 
I can only clean in Michigan, really, you know? What if, made you get into it? Like, cleaning in general, like, deciding to become... My mom owned one growing up, so I knew how to, like, clean tubs and showers and stuff at the age of eight. So it was just, like... Doing chores? Yeah, but this business was on accident, though. I would say that. So you uh you do everything yourself or you got employees? I got employees. Okay. That's awesome. the luxury part of being an entrepreneur though. It's cuz that's how I'm able to be in like multiple places at once. Right. And bring in money from everywhere. Right. So, if they want to work and know how to work, you know. So. What credentials you need? I need a job. I ain't been working. <clears throat> You do background checks? No. Oh, you need it. You need a second job, too. Yeah, I'm fucked up. Yeah, that shit gets all on the side. Fam, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so what about... So, so Mo, you <laughs> sent that post the other day. The uh, A dude sent the girl $30 for lunch. <laughs> and she like, she don't want $30. Like, you should have sent the 100 She ungrateful. Or, or should she had just sent that? She sent it back, or did she just talk shit about it? She sent it back, right? I think she, I, I'm not 100 percent sure. I think she sent it back. Whether she did or not, she talked shit about it. Yeah, she's ungrateful. What do you? I'm trying to think. During lunch, there's lunch specials. I don't give a fuck where you going. <laughs> <laughs> there's what nowhere the really. All right, I see if you said 50. Bro, you can, but even if bitch, you was about to pay for your own lunch. You go. You can go get a steak dinner for lunch, and thirty dollars would be good. I just, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with this world. Like, I feel like, like, the... She ain't like him. Either that or she had to because you just ran that nigga off. She thought he was a lame and she was trying to dig off in his pockets for real quick. And I be feeling like the niggas with the most money, if you really, really want to be one of them, like, niggas that really, really got money, they know the value of money. Niggas that respect money and all that shit, so they know what they spending their money on. Like, shit, I'm $30 for lunch? No, it's not saying... You could have went to McDonald's, you could have went to Wendy's, you could have went up. No, go to Benny's, go somewhere else. What are you really buying for lunch? You only got 30 minutes. What are you really going to enjoy for $100? I guess to her, lunch money don't literally mean lunch money. It's just like, give me some money. Yeah, yeah but I think, like, maybe the $30 was okay. But honestly, if I ask a man for some money, and let's say it's $30, I'm going to ask for 100 she but ain't asked. Ask for that. Like, that's what I'm saying. That's but a lot of communication. He was just like, let me buy your lunch today. What's your cash app? She sent the cash app, and he sent the $30. So she didn't say, like, oh, yeah, I want this. Like, this how much it costs. No. He's supposed to automatically know to send you $100? <laughs> um, maybe. Sometimes I be expecting niggas to know shit. My tricking bill ain't that high. How do you? I'm saying how I do you expect, a high trigger, how do you expect a man to know something like that? Like he's supposed yeah. to be like a psychic. Like if you didn't tell him that at all, like yo, I I eat at. I'm trying to think somewhere that will cost a hundred dollars for lunch. <laughs> if you choose to something for a hundred dollars for lunch, like but some stuff be common sense though. Like um, y'all, how are we supposed to know that? Like you know, like what is common sense? Like I'm I'm trying to confuse like like how? Because if you ask me, if you ask me. Men really don't ask women what they want for lunch. Women make men lunch and shit like that. Like, make them lunch. And nigga ain't being like, oh, send me $100 for lunch. So I wouldn't know. I would know from okay. what I know from what my people was doing or, so, or older people I seen do. You feel me? They, women is making them lunch. I don't really see niggas being like, oh, what you want for lunch? Now you feel me? Bring the bread in, taking care of shit. Yeah. But like, oh, I'm about to send you $100 for lunch. You send a nigga... You make a nigga a sandwich, leftovers, a bit, uh, 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 I said wild shit, uh, uh, orange, all types of shit, he Gucci. Like, so I'm, I'm confused. So when a nigga say he don't know, he really don't know. How, you got to tell somebody, that you have to tell somebody something for them to know. Or they have to learn that type of habit. Some people not around that type of habit. I'm not assuming lunch costs $100. At all. Um, But I'm saying like a little bit more than 30 If she was getting like a, a cocktail or something. For or, lunch, you must be at work. It depends on where you... Hell, I would have sent the dub. Gonna... Thirty was generous. Yeah, I would have sent the dub. I don't think she was ungrateful though. Oh, that's crazy. Because uh, lunch isn't a hundred dollars. I think she was being a little dramatic, but I got a question for y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Not real shit. If y'all was driving, right? You had to pick up your mom. No, you already in the car with your girl, 
And you got to pick your moms. Who's sitting in the front? Who's sitting in the back? And why? And I'm going to ask you later, but I'm going to ask these two first. My mom getting in the front. <laughs> and why? Because why would I put my mom in the back? Yo, why, Unless I my mean, mom was like, I'm cool with No, this is not no back. girl. This is not no girl like... Like, uh, like my wife or something? Like yeah, if I was married? Yeah. My mama is getting in the front. My wife, my wife is getting in the front, but she so, she so trill about it that she would be like, she'll make sure that my mom don't want to sit in the front. So, uh, it won't be no conflict, but shit, that's a tough one. Or, have your girl drive, your mom get in the front, you get in the back. Yeah, that's the easy way out. I'll get in the back. Thank you. No. You driving, you driving, your dad or your boyfriend, who's getting in the back? Um, or your husband, whatever the case may be. It depends on how long I've been with him. It's your husband. Say it's your husband. I don't know. My, my husband. Yes. My husband's like, honestly, I will switch it. Because that's your daddy right dog for real. Yeah, that's, that's daddy. It. Honestly, my daddy gonna sit in the bag. My husband, I don't have my daddy sit in the bag. Yeah. You see nothing wrong with it? <coughs> I ain't getting in in my daughter's car, so I'm not. I'm gonna be driving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I ain't driving with you and your boyfriend. That nigga about to sit in the bag. I feel you. Me personally, I probably have no disrespect. Like, I love my mom. So I probably have my, girl, my wife sitting in the front. But it's going to really be, like, between them. Like, I, I pray to God my wife makes the right choice. Like, hey, mom, you know, you sit in the front. And so I'm offer it first. The, yeah, like, I hope yeah. you offer it first. So I'm not gonna, Most women would, though. But by default, like, yeah. my wife is going to sit in the front. But it's crazy, though. Like, if it was, like, my dad and my girl, I ain't going front. My dad's in the front. No, that's opposite for me. That's, now, if it's my dad and my girl. My dad's in the front. My dad, that's my nigga. He's yeah, got sit in the back. And I'm saying that on the sense of like he's a nigga. Is, if I was close, matter of fact, let me take that back because I'm not even close to my dad. He would give him that type of respect. But if I was close to my dad, like I'm pretty much saying like shit. Hard, I'm gonna make sure I'm sitting in the front. That's it. Like just man rules. Just, that's just it. Yeah, I think it depends. I think the relationship, relationship got something to do with that, it too. But but nah, right now my dad. Still, if it was if it's my woman over my dad, he a nigga at the end of the day. He would get his ass in the back. But if it's y'all girlfriend, y'all would be like, hey, get in the bag, mom's here. That's crazy to like make her get up. It. Like, she I think I'll be a little saucy. Now, it depends. You know what I do? You know what I do? I'll just probably go pick up my mom first. Hopefully, we're not in the same location. But if you marry, you probably coming from the same spot as your girl. I'm probably in the same household, anything. I'm about to go to Walmart. Oh, damn, I'm close to my yeah, mom. My, my mom wouldn't trip about it either. My she mom wouldn't no trip old, either. No I don't know. My mom. It depends on the day for my mama. My mom's well, she West African. It depends on what day it is. My mom will trip about it. She's she. I, I got a whole different type of culture. Like my mom will trip about it. So who come first in general? My mom. Like even with like my mom. Anything. My mom. That's a tough one. Is yeah. it giving mama's boy though? Oh, you talking about in life or like in a relationship? Like yeah, my, my wife come first. My, well, my situation right now, to be honest, with the situation yeah. my son come first. Without a doubt. Yeah. And my mom. For sure, for sure. But, like, the whole car riding thing, my mom getting in the front. But, like, in life, my girl or my wife would come first, for sure. Kids, my situation, my son. My mom got her own husband. Yeah, my mom got two kids. Yeah. That's facts. My mom got two kids. That's just not like that. Like, you got two kids, and you could just take parts of all three of us. I gotta make sure my son's straight. And when I do get in the situation, I make sure my wife is first. And yeah, my wife will be first. Because without her, she she's gonna be the foundation. So if I'm going, who gonna take care of the kids? So I will put my wife first. I definitely will put my wife first. Could y'all date women if y'all mom like didn't approve of? You gotta you gotta respect my mom. That's tough. 
You gotta like respect her, but she just simply don't like your girlfriend. But the yeah, girlfriend, how would the disrespect come about though? Like it's like your mom probably wilding out of the wild, or, or your mom just like I don't like her. Like, I don't know. I just like I don't. I got a feeling I don't like her. Maybe. If it's some shit like that, like I don't care what you're talking about. Okay. I don't know. That's tough. Cause, like, I grew up like my mama never brought niggas around. Like. All we knew was my dad and her husband. She got now. You ain't never had no uncles. You ain't never like you. No, nigga. Shit. <laughs> I never had no <laughs> not, unless they really my mama brother and my daddy brother, <laughs> my real uncles. <laughs> but uh, like damn, me but, and my uh, never so like so like she always had that respect. So I feel like I, if I'm gonna bring a, a woman around her, I need to have at least her grace on her. You know what I'm saying? Break up with her if your mama don't like her. Probably so, cause that's a big one. Hell, I done stopped fucking with a chick if 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 I feel like this, right? I stopped fucking with a chick. Me and my baby mama don't fuck around nothing. We just co-parent. Man, this one chick like got to my baby mama, and I'm like, my nigga, you good? That's my daughter, mom. And I cut her off, so, and I don't even fuck with my baby mama. So you cut a woman off because she didn't get along with your baby mama? Yeah. That's respect. Yeah, I do that. That's, That's my respect. daughter, mom. I can't be laying up. Yeah, I gotta do oh, bringing my daughter around you and you, you got negative That's vibes respect. about her mama. About her mama. mama, we ain't about to play them type of games. Was it like something like tiff or tad petty, or was no, it something actually like? It just was like was unnecessary disrespect, just cause like mm-hmm. for nothing. Trying it was just like something. trying to yeah, prove her, her like, position or some shit. Yeah, uh, ended up asking her herself. like she was threatened by walked us yeah, walked us over not the door. That's the number one way to, for a female to walk herself out of a man's life. Especially a man that respects the situation, like that has a healthy co-parenting situation. No, you can't do that. So at the end of the day, that's still my daughter one way, shape, or form because my daughter or my child, my son is here. Like You ain't disrespecting that. And then you think about this, like you got your, your child around this woman. She don't fuck with the mom. She might take that out on your kid a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's like my that's when she your child, the kid too. She's huh? disrespecting the kid when she did yeah, that too. Exactly. Though. That's the whole thing. Like you can't disrespect my baby mama because you disrespect my kid when you do that shit. Right. That's his mama. Or her so, mama. So my point of saying that is, if I feel like that about my baby mama, I definitely feel like that about my mama. Mm. Mm. Man, what about you? You you date a dude that uh your dad ain't care for, your mom ain't care for? No, I wouldn't date him. I don't know about that. I wouldn't one. even bring him around. But you had your dad. You had your dad. Don't like the bad yeah. boys. Oh, see, it's different though. See, it, it be different though when some of them girls be having their daddies. Not some of the girls. A majority of girls that really have an active dad in their life, bro, they be damn near when a nigga like their daddy. Like, uh, uh, like, so if he ain't fucking with them, you, that means you not my daddy type of nigga. Like, you ain't moving like my dad. I'm sure. So yeah, you feel exactly. like? Ha- have you ever been in that situation? Uh, where I dated a, a guy like my dad? No, like. That your parents didn't care for it, like your dad didn't care for it, so um any guy like I was like fucking with, they wasn't like my nigga. Oh, okay. They was around or in you know yeah. it wasn't. So really they never really got your dad or some shit like that or what? Yeah, they was all temporary. Yeah. I only bring like somebody I'm actually taking serious yeah. around. But Not now I house. got kids, so now it's just it's different now. Mm-hmm. If you ain't talking about nothing, you ain't coming around, period. Yeah. How many kids you got? Two. I got mm-hmm. twins. You got twins? I'm twin, a twin. Where have you been? I got a twin <laughs> sister. I got a twin. He got twin kids. What? Yeah, I got boy girl. <laughs> I, I, yeah, I got a girl sister too. That's Shout out to my sister world. DJ. Shout out to my, my niece and nephew Cash and Cam. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Um, they're 15 months in Naomi and Cairo. I was about to say, five times you decided to say, say 15. 15. 22. <laughs> I was about to get them from the calculator. I'm like. <laughs> Somebody needs to <laughs> say, wait a minute. I'm about, I don't call the police, bro. Right now. <laughs> so, uh, I'm about to call somebody. Diddy. <laughs> Where Diddy at? <laughs> oh, you're speaking of Diddy, I just seen that um, Bryce Bryce is dating his one of the twins. I just seen that when I was walking in. Oh, I, said, I saw that. that. Yeah, so that's crazy. That's <laughs> Bryce who? Not underwear. <laughs> Bryce who? Uh, James. Mm-hmm. Bryce, Bryce, huh? Oh, I need Bryce. <laughs> yeah. 
You ain't, you ain't hit the brakes? Yeah, yeah. I got a question, right? What's up? If a marriage proposal is not accepted, does that end a relationship? <laughs> Hell, fuck yeah. What? Bye, bitch. Accepted by who? If a dude proposed to you, yeah, but you're not ready it. to Hell be married. Yeah. I'm giving a ring to somebody else. Meant, like, you yeah, know. Nah, yeah, it's over. The relationship over. Hell yeah. I got Bro. down on one knee, nigga, and she said no. You think we about to what go What if she just wasn't ready right then? I don't even <laughs> fuck about none of that. Uh-uh. It's over. We'll go back I would never say start? no. Would what you would say if you ain't want to get married? I would say, yeah, you can always call off an engagement. You just you went know? home on the spot. Yeah, I went home on the spot. No, we had a conversation later in private. Oh, right, that's over with that shit, too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going to say no in private either. I'm just going to say, yeah, we engaged. But moving on, like, you're going to find them. You're going to figure stuff out about a person. Call off the engagement. Then it may be over after the engagement, but I'm not going to hold you. What is too early, too soon to get engaged? A year. Anything earlier than a year. What I'd be so surprised by niggas six months later. That's crazy. So, so surprised. So that'd be crazy. So now I got a question for y'all too, and, I, and you, you too because I was a female. What is too long? Like, y'all have daughters. What would be too long for you to tell your daughter, like, leave that nigga alone, go somewhere else? None. I would never nothing. do that. Never. Never. I wouldn't Real do nigga. that. Real nigga. Especially if they good niggas, right? Right. Definitely. Okay. Right. I would never do that. Y'all good niggas. That's okay. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even pressure him to marry her. You gotta really want to do that. You want to pressure the boyfriend. Nah, hell no. Nah. What if she said she was like, you pressure like, them to get into some shit that they don't really want to be in? That's real nigga yeah, shit. That's, much That's real nigga shit. Mm. That's real nigga shit. Mm. So you have a daughter? Yeah. What would you do? And you have a son. If she was like trying to get married. All right, let's start with your son. What and E, you have a son too. So your son was dating a chick for so long and you know she's a good girl. Da da da. And we obviously want our daughters and sons to both be married, but mm-hmm. as a man, we would want our sons to continue our, na- our name and our legacy. What is too long for your son to be like, yo, stop? You'd be like, yo, my nigga, stop playing and take care of your business. Some dumb shit like 15 years, 15, 16 years. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Y'all already married, for real. So I say anything good? after four or five years. I was like, what you doing? Depending on the age. Depending on the age or my age. Depending on the age. Like, I like unking them, so they be trying to settle down. Like, no. Yeah. Like, wait a minute. I need time. So, for them, it's like a year, you know, like. That's, a, that's so much of a red flag. What? I need time. Yeah, get off my line. You dog. need time. All right. <laughs> I need yeah, time too. They be they be trying to rush it. I need time. But yeah, I understand that too though. <laughs> trying to be controlling and shit. Yeah, they are controlling. Uncle them is definitely controlling. <laughs> I be having to get them a reality check. That I'm still grown. What's the oldest dudes you ever rock with? <laughs> Jesus. 51, but I never had Damn. sex with him. I never had sex with him. I never had Damn. sex with him. He was giving he was giving that money. And I never had sex with him. Uh he just was like, he just needed somebody to talk to. Was he was it was he like a smooth old nigga though? Yeah. Okay. He was into tech 51. and um he was some Because I feel, I feel like I see that in my future. I'm gonna be one of them <laughs> smooth old niggas. So nice so you tender. And grabbing like cause I ain't gonna hold you. Like I, nigga, it be it be old niggas, you feel me? It be old niggas that be grabbing your cheeks, but like I since we bring that up, it's like I feel like it's crazy that it's a big deal that Jalen Green and Dre having that baby. And like when I really sit back and I look at it, like, okay, they have the same her kids the same age. When you look compare them, them two different type of niggas. Yeah. They one is mature, one is really seeing millions, mm-hmm. the other one came up into millions, mom or whatever, mama get money, whatever the case may be. Bro, that was a she hit a lick. Yeah. She did. At horrible. the end of the day, there is nothing she gonna ever be able to say other than she was securing her future mm-hmm. for the next eighteen years. He's the same age as her son. Yeah. That's I think it's getting real That's crazy. That's a lot. How all right, bet. So no, listen. I just can't. So, 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 listen. So, back when ATL came out, if we would have came across Buffy the Body, you wouldn't have took that shot? I'm not about to try to put, I'm not putting no baby in her. Yeah. Nigga, you can't control, you're a young nigga. You, you already put the baby in her. We, my nigga, you the same nigga. That <laughs> oh, what are you talking about? Oh, my God. What are you talking about, bro? 
having a baby, fucking with a person and having a baby by them is two different things. Yeah, yeah, but I can shit, talk when to you a have, When you raw dogging, it's a, it's a man's choice. When you raw dogging, first of all, raw, I, do, I wear condoms. <laughs> <laughs> We're not gonna let that just go by. But yeah, think about that. Think about that. All right, whatever. <laughs> the truth shall set you free, brother man. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> but anyway. When you don't wear condoms, that's a man's choice. So Jalen Green knew what the fuck he was doing. You feel me? Young nigga, whatever. You feel me? Like, nigga, you got M's behind you. You got all that. There's no way nobody was in his corner letting him know, like, this shit happened. He was naive. He was, think about something, bro. Nigga, that's what he wanted young, to do. He was young as hell pregnant. looking at her. He, he naive. He been with her forever, bro. He he like, I'm up now. I, I've been with since I was a kid. Fuck it. Get and pregnant. And she still look good? Man, he just young and dumb and in love, bro. But she... But you forced him to be a dad at 22, 23. You're not forced him, but you just... How you know this nigga is like... Yeah. Well, okay, okay, maybe. Maybe that was right off the fucking... You hear all NBA players, too, and retired NBA... I'm sorry, all uh, retired NBA players. (coughs) You hear all of them say, like, when you actually get the money... No, nothing matter. You got money. You just feel like anything is... There's a lot of NBA niggas with kids all over the place. I don't think that she forced him, so to say, but I think that she did her big one by trusting a 22, 23-year-old. Uh, she manipulated that situation. Man. Yeah, that nigga said, I'm about to give like, her. Because no she knew he's he a young, horny nigga, bro. That's gone. He just want to jump up and down. She know that. She the body that nigga caught right there. <laughs> yeah. a nigga, like a nigga, a nigga yeah, got a baby in the way. I need extra money. <laughs> He gonna be in dunk contest next that, year every I need that max contract. He gonna he perform in that dunk contest next year for sure. One. He just caught one yesterday. That's yeah. what he's talking about, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. He ain't listening. It was one right before when he had found out she was pregnant, though. He dunked on a nigga like that same day too. Oh no, the one he dunked on yesterday was that. She was that's. I'm surprised they didn't fuck his wrist up. Hey, <coughs> I was listening to the Breakfast Club, right? Mm-hmm. And they was talking about. Same sex massages, right? And it was dudes what? calling in. Listen, it was dudes calling in like, yeah, Whoa. they get massages from dudes because they stronger. Nah. And they get and then girls was calling in and talk yeah. about they prefer a girl to do theirs. I know what y'all gonna say. This is really just for you. Um, I prefer uh I mean honestly. So you wouldn't do you wouldn't let a girl rub you down? I mean, I would. Like the big do you like girls? I do. I love women. Okay, okay. I wouldn't date a woman. But you just fuck like with him while you fuck with him. Okay. As long as a man is involved. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Do some shit like that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, he's a freak. Just fine. But you prefer a man to massage you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. What would you do? <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> I was see. I really, you, you really beat part. me to it. Because I was about to. I was about to. <laughs> you, you already knew what type of time I was on. You already knew what type of time he already knew what type of time I was on. He beat you me to it. He, said, he quick as hell. <laughs> uh-uh. Oh, shit. I don't Yo. even like massages. No. <laughs> oh, I don't, bro. Them bitches. Man, I, you talking about niggas talking about having a male do it, nigga. The, the chicks be fucking yeah. like, shit hurt. The bitch oh, putting her nah. knuckles in there. Nah, this, this ain't even a deep tissue. <laughs> I had Elga do my shit. Elga. Elga. <laughs> Elga. You got the happy ending? What? No, I had my spider broke my shit. <laughs> <laughs> she was big as hell at MGM. I said, damn. <laughs> Dad, the oil. She got the choke. All that shit, bro. Trim on that shit. So she don't fucking try to take me here. Back out. So, hey, Y'all ain't never got the happy ending? What is the happy ending? <laughs> now you ain't had no happy playing. ending. Niggas be playing brand new when the camera on. Like what is the happy look, ending? Look, she not looking at her. The happy ending. What it sound like? You getting a massage. Happy ending. Your body all relaxed. Hot. <laughs> Listen. Listen. And they you fruit. <clears throat> She'd be like, turn over. Turn over. Sometimes it don't, though. You don't have You can be turn intimate. Huh? You can just be intimate. It don't have to be right, sexual intimacy. So no happy ending for you? Not always. Say. Maybe no. it's just a, you know, Ooh. you just want to touch that person. Baby d what? Hey, yo. Fever. <laughs> Listen, bro. <laughs> <Fever. laughs> It could just be a just a physical touch intimacy. Lady what? Oh, we finna fuck afterwards. You know we finna fuck. Ooh. People be thinking intimacy is just sex. It's not. That's true. 
Bullshit. Because I be intimate in the club sometimes. <laughs> but we ain't fucking. <laughs> Get his drive. Drop up in the club. Drop kissing in the club. No, nah, not kissing. Spending kissing is miles, crazy. Doing that all that so shit. so crazy. Kissing in public is crazy. crazy. Kiss somebody. I could be in a full-blown relationship for a year. I'd still be like, man, we ain't about to be kissing for all these people. Really? <laughs> cat. So <laughs> kissing is just not the thing. So you get anxiety when Stop the cat. <laughs> 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 pulling on his neck and shit. <laughs> dog, this is going to burn out, dog. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure it's changed all together and shit. That's nah, crazy. dog. I don't like people on my so business. So you don't like kissing? Nah, that's him. He don't. I don't like. Actually, when we build a relationship, yeah, I kiss. But so y'all don't kiss girls that y'all not really interested in. But yeah. Y'all don't fuck them though. But I ain't about to be in the middle of the club. With my girl just talking her down. I'm not fucking. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> no, we ain't. We ain't, we ain't, we ain't not we ain't talking that. her down, but kissing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Talking her down. Type that's shit. crazy. Yeah. Niggas be. That's the. Making out in the club. Hey, do you, 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 <laughs> hey, do it seem like as relationships go on, like the kissing change? Like when you first start fucking with somebody, y'all be like nasty kissing. But then when you've been with somebody like, so long, it'd be a on, quick little. Like, fuck yeah. Good morning. Me and my wife still nasty kiss, so. That's a healthy relationship. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she about six months. I done seen you with the wig off. <laughs> the bonnet. Getting a peck on the cheek. I mean, I've been taking the shit. She coming here around taking the shit. Yeah, it is. We locked in. We ain't even got to go that far. Hey, I was thinking about something random the other day, bro. I thought about, like, one of the craziest lies I ever told that really, like, that put people's lives in jeopardy. I hope I don't fuck, fuck up my flights by saying this shit. But, you know, I be lying when they be like, yo, when you say the exit rows, and they be like, are you willing to help if the plan go down? Oh, <laughs> nigga, I lied I too. Be, I be like, damn. I'm like, not I be looking dead in their face like, yeah, yeah, I am. Like, I'm looking like, damn, my leg fucked up. Nigga, I'm definitely, like, only person I might help out is the first person, just in case it's not too safe out there and you get fucked up. But if it's safe out there, I'm jumping. We out. We out. I'm not waiting for nobody. What if you start putting a parachute and a life jacket and your carry on. That's oh, dramatic shit. as hell. <laughs> you only have to just pay for your. That's like you, a lot of thought. No, nah, you just pay for your fucking uh, thing. Man, so you prepare. That bitch going down, man. <laughs> you prepare kiss the baby. Have your life jacket on just in case you land in water. Kiss the baby mm-hmm. if that plane going down. What if down, you land man. in the middle of the woods? Man, listen. Kiss the baby, bro. With Jaguars. So who's going. So my question. Your question <laughs> is. <laughs> Nigga, it's you, your baby mama, and your kids. Or your wife, your kids, the mother of your child's kids. Who are you saving first? You said what? Your wife, your kids, your baby mama, whoever the case. Your baby daddy, whatever, husband, whatever. The person you deal with. Damn, man. Who are you taking first? Like Damn. who you like when when you get the rap first of all, when the raft is settled, Damn. baby mama or, or wife. The baby mama, my daughter is first. Cooked. Come on. Immediately. Clock it. Cooked. All right, come on. <laughs> yeah, you bro. Save your baby mama. I'm saving my daughter first. No, I said, oh, you said. Oh, no, my son coming first. No, your kids. I didn't, I didn't hear the kid part. So, so you saving your kids first or your baby daddy? So you I saved like, my kids. You said, I thought right. you said baby, baby, baby daddy or boyfriend. My. Oh, no. Nah. Baby mama or girlfriend. Oh, that uh, that's tight. Or what? No, baby mama, wife, whatever. Like, oh, I thought the female, the female you're dealing with. Like, let's not even give him that type of title. The female you're dealing with, wife, or whatever. The mother of your child, whatever. Your kids, you. My kids. Who you? So who you? But her scenario was crazy. She basically saying like, say, your current girl and your baby mama. Mm-hmm. You gotta choose between the two of them. You don't say your baby mama, then your kid ain't got a mama. I gotta say my baby. Damn, that's crazy. I can't say that on this camera. I never get a girlfriend. Damn, but he go always. They better not be swimming together. <laughs> we see a lot of women don't like when you have. A you know, so fucked up. You know, real fucked up, bro. You know what? I, you know what I really do on that on some real shit, bro. It is what it is, bro. They just go live with my baby mama, the girl. My kids, you gotta get your. Ass. You gotta. You gotta no, say the, the next. Gotta, the next one going. We fight for the next one. You gotta say the child's parent, man. And, and the, yeah, I'm, you, I'm in the in the girl. Girl, 
You're I said first. Yeah, I I say I said that first that myself. I save the child's parent, but I and my wife and kids, I save. Well, it'll be one kid, right? It's not gonna be all three of my kids. Right? Y'all gonna one finish one kid? Yeah, one one. it's fucked up for you. Don't choose between the kids. <laughs> it's one and one. Oh, no, I'm taking all three. I'm taking all my kids. Okay, we'll make no, all the I'm kids one my, home. I'm taking my we'll wife. Make, we'll make all the kids one kid. I'm taking kid. my wife because we can make more kids. Nigga, the kids is gone. Y'all going. Me and the wife, we're going to figure out how we're going to get going. Y'all going to continue your life. I should almost. I think it all depends, too, because Eden been with his wife so long. I mean, I mean, even with your situation, you was with her for a long time. I ain't never really. He said, I ain't even never thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be. I'm gone. Fly. <laughs> Everybody's staying. You and your daughter gone. <laughs> Both of them staying. It's a cold world. <laughs> so we can make more kids. It's crazy. You can. Man. I mean, you you you, you gotta you gotta you gotta think of it like this. After we survive, we're gonna have to have victory sex. We 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 having kids <laughs> so we can. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. That ain't that ain't the victory. <laughs> that's, that's, What's the victory? <laughs> What's the? There's no win. Nigga, we made it. <laughs> What was the win? Nigga, we made it. What? <laughs> Am I wrong? Out of everything. All right, we ain't gonna make a shit out of that one. Hey, right, what's the stupidest thing y'all learned at school that y'all don't use today? Man, let me think. That pie shit. Three point one four pie. Pie history. Oh, that stupid ass history! That history they, they, they taught us all the wrong history. <laughs> Straight up, they did though. <laughs> they learned about the British and shit. Yeah, like they might. Have, <laughs> and then they party. lied to us. We y'all ain't even telling us the truth about the shit. Boston Tea Party and all that weird ass shit. Like, man, I'm making fuck about no tea. What? what about you? Everything except for English. Like, honestly, English and math. A little bit. I fucked with the debate. But Bro, some man. of the stuff you just don't use. Like, once you graduate, you, it's real life. Like you don't use that certain levels of math person. bullshit. Have y'all ever had to stop, drop, and roll? Stupid shit, bro. Or like, <laughs> why did we learn that? No, you, no, you, no, you, you better fight. learn that, bro. That shit the don't work, bro. Bro, you will have to do that, nigga. What you going? Uh, if you on fire, in it out, nigga. I mean, I'm you gonna, ain't got no help. You got to stop, drop, and roll. That's <laughs> that you have to, <laughs> nigga. You have to. Yeah. What the fuck else you gonna do, <laughs> bro? <laughs> <laughs> bro, y'all think that worked for real? Bro, that was, if you on fire, life, bro. You if you on fire that. and you stop dropping roll, <laughs> this nigga said that was the most bullshit they taught him. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like the tornado drill was crazy too. Crazy. You like we don't have tornadoes? The it's like, they just do that so you don't see the tornado. tornado. Yeah, that's crazy. Or the, um, you, know, you think sitting in the hallway is gonna save you? The active shooter. No, hell no. Nah, <laughs> see, we it, never did no active shooter strong, shit. Though. Mm. We do oh we, they weren't doing that when we was in school. No table. active shooter drill. Shit. Hey, no, the active shooter shit. The active shooter school? shit. I don't remember. Now, I don't watch. Well, nah, I just remember fire nah, drill. Nah, the shit that they drill. teach for that is valid. I ain't gonna lie. I seen some shit where you know the uh, the little plastic chairs. They you could put it in the door a certain way, and they jam the door, and they can't pull the door open. Yeah. So like shit like that. But trying to hide from a tornado or a fire is crazy. Stop dropping roll. I don't know. I think that shit. I don't know. Somebody got to try that shit. I went to That's Kaiser. That whole school, I one long know. hallway. We was cooked if a nigga yeah. came in there. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody was down the hallway. <laughs> we was hibachi. No, it's not funny. I, that, that wasn't funny. Take that clip out. I was you to Kaiser? I went to Kaiser. My grandparents own the church now. Kaiser's still open? What's that? It's a church church now. now. Yeah, that's my granddad. It's the one in Los Willow. Oh, okay. We got to talk when we get out today. Yeah. Okay. You, you, you was a church school? You was a private I'm school? I'm about to go there. Right to go there. I, I'm about to go there in a couple weeks with D Preach. Oh. You want to perform? Yeah. <laughs> that's my yeah, that's my family. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, 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 no BS dog. I was going to this church at, at, at Washington Community College, bro. What? <laughs> what? They, they, Why? Because they was working on their building. They was getting their building built. So they was holding church at trying. college. It was trying. <laughs> trying. No, it wasn't trying. Uh-huh. It was something else. But oh, no, I know. But know. bro, they bro, they they kept coming up to me like, yeah, you should get in the Black History program and do what? <laughs> do, I bro, can't make no what? rap. I don't know nothing about Black History and nothing, not enough about the Bible. The only thing I know, 
What? When it comes to history, it's just Malcolm X. And like, I'm so terrible, though. I lied and told him I was going to be out of town that Sunday. And I still mm. showed up to church for the program. He said he was booked. Your time. I was like, yeah, my booking fell through. I ain't have time to get everything together. So, but I'm here. I still made it to church. Uh, That's crazy. I did lie, though. What's one of the craziest lies you been told in school and got away with it? Got away with it? I used to get caught. Let me see. Got away with it. Matter of fact, let me rephrase that. What's the longest lie that you had and you was getting away with it and then when you finally got caught, it was crazy. Like, and I tell you, I start off with mine. Mine is when I changed the phone number on the um, when on the absent thing. And so, like, when you skip school and shit like that. Yeah, and, then, and they call. Yeah, so my mom, she wasn't really, like, my, like I said, my mom from West Africa, so she wasn't really all into that shit. So, but my sister's a fucking 4.0 student, so everything right. just lit. So one day, me and my sister had the same teacher, and she just happened to look at the fucking thing, like, there's two different numbers on here. Yo, when I say, mom, I don't want to get her in no trouble, but, yo, my mom's fucked me up so bad, I don't think I went to school for, like, a week. <laughs> she was so embarrassed, bro, because she got my attendance now. Yeah, seeing you've been skipping, then you changed the number. That was slick, though. Cause you know, I be lying like the teacher don't like me. That's why my grade ain't going. Bro, I, nigga, we were sophomores. I was 15. We was going to a party. And, uh, we had went to the party first. For some odd reason, we were like, let's go to the store and get some drink. Mind you, 15. See, ain't nobody older than 17 with us. We go there. We going to steal that shit. Get in there, nigga. Steal some liquor. Put that shit in my pocket. Try to walk out. Two niggas grabbed me up so crazy, nigga. Like I was, nigga. <coughs> I'm murder, nigga. So I'm sick, nigga. I'm like, fuck. Now, mind you, I got a fucking big ass bar. I'm going to tell you what the liquor was. Two niggas. I put the bottle in my pocket, nigga. So I ain't even. It's winter time, bro. I ain't got a coat. I'm just young, thugging outside, bro. It's around Christmas break. Yeah, I'm what's the liquor? Outside. I ain't even got no coat. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on. <laughs> the liquor in my pocket like this. I ain't got no coat on, so it's just like bulging yeah, like this. So I'm yeah. just looking dumb as hell. Yeah. Try to walk out, nigga. Catch me, woo woo, nigga. They like since it's since it's liquor, like we gotta we gotta get in contact with your people, or you gotta go to juvie. I'm like, damn. Calling TJ, you know, calling the streets, trying to come get me, but they wouldn't release him to me. Uh, that it was since it was by Christmas, the officer like, man, I'll shoot you to the crib where you stay. I knew my mom went home. Oh, so you was. I good. had him take me to my mom crib. Boom, she not there. Here, take me to my aunt's. That's DP crib. Uh, so, uh-huh. take me over there. She like, she played it good. Boy, what the hell you that did? Woo woo. He like, sir. She, I mean, ma'am. He he got caught. So, yeah, woo. Ooh, we leave him to your custody. She was like, yeah, bring him on in. She bring me in, nigga. I'm like, as soon as the door closed, I'm like, bet. My mom ain't about to figure this out. I'm good. I'm good, nigga. Ain't nothing on me. I'm good. I'm back to the party. We walk back to the party. Nigga, two weeks go by. <laughs> Let her come to the crib. Let her come to the crib, nigga. Back then, we ain't have phones. <laughs> I hear, I'm in Oak Ridge, nigga. I hear through the grapevine, nigga, your mom looking for you. <laughs> nigga, that's the scariest thing in the world. Facts. I already know. Like, I don't know how I'm going to get in trouble, but I don't know how the fuck she didn't find out, but I know she didn't find out. Yeah. Nigga, I didn't call. It was yeah. like, call, they, she's like, they, they, she wants you to call her as soon as you can, nigga. I'm like, yeah. fuck that, bro. I'm going to just pull up to the crib. I try to sneak in the back door. All I hear is, stealing. Stealing, nigga. <laughs> I'm like, fuck. <laughs> but she still don't know what I even stole. Oh, so, yeah. Getting that bitch, <clears throat> she talking and asking questions. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She still ain't asked what was stole. She finally asked what was stuff. So I'm like, liquor. Whoa, whoa. But it's I'm ashamed as hell because I, I never even been drunk at that point, nigga. I'm yeah. on some dumb ass. Like I said, I'm outside, young as hell. Yeah. I'm about to turn the party up. This yeah. how you go. This how I seen niggas do it. This how we about to do it. <laughs> Mind you, I grabbed some fucking puckers, bro. That shit wasn't going to get nobody. Oh, bro. my God. I grabbed The puckers. apple pucker? Puckers, bro. Watermelon. Oh, they should have let you go. Watermelon and puckers. Watermelon. But it had a small percentage of alcohol. <laughs> he grabbed a chaser. <laughs> I was on punishment the rest of that year. For the year? Yeah. I was, that was Christmas. So until school was out, I was through. My sophomore year, I was through. Damn. What about you? 
Um. Oh, I told my parents I had a job. Um. And you I got was, OnlyFans. Where was the money coming from? OnlyFans. <laughs> OnlyFans in high school. Crazy. Insane. And it probably <laughs> illegal. <laughs> <laughs> illegal. No, I told him I had a job, but I was like, I was in Detroit with my boyfriend. Oh, oh selling yeah. dope. Selling dope. Being fast. No. Scamming. Just being a little fast. I was being fast. All right. Princess okay. passing. Yeah. What about you? Man, I told so many lies. I got one. I just thought about <laughs> something so crazy. I can tell you, I was with you done, man. This is embarrassing, but I got uh, to say this one. Uh-oh. I don't know, bro. I don't. Bro, I used to lie about everything. You a liar? I was. That's because my mom was a demon. You just, I had lie. you just lied in the house. What? House of the uh, Lord. I did. Yeah. yeah you vicious. Yeah, I don't know. I told a lot of lies. I, I used to get in trouble all the time in school. <laughs> you vicious? I don't know. So I lied. Oh, I um, I prank called the police from school pay phone. And um, when I got caught. I told him I was trying to order pizza. <laughs> what? Yeah, it was crazy. It was stupid. That's what he came up with. <laughs> I was trying to order a pizza. Now I want one. some shit. I got caught. <laughs> <That's cool. laughs> I'm, I'm trying to just, like, just bypass with this nigga. Just you. <laughs> we all as hell talking about payphone. I'm talking about a payphone. Yo, you know I told a little ish what the fuck that Nintendo 64 was. He said, "What the fuck was that?" I felt. So, you know, we don't even got to talk about that no more. Like, we don't even got to have them type of conversations. He said, I was like, you know what a payphone is? So you have to pay to use the cell phone? It is what it is. We did, but we now nah, that was a whole different type of genre, too. Like, we ain't got to talk this about shit that. This shit Chinese to you, too, ain't it? Yeah, I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> All right, anyway. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> it was, oh, no, 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 no. Nigga, it was Blockbuster. Oh, uh, yeah, Blockbuster. He said, what is that? The so, old Netflix. Hell, yeah. Facts. Y'all ever went into the little naughty section? Hell, as yeah. A kid? Nigga, the liquor store Bro, it's funny as you on golf side, they had like a little, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Uh, what's it called? Busters? Man, bro. They had the little section in there. <laughs> Listen, so my mom, so this is my, my brother just, I think he, yeah, he was he was doing this thing. He had like multiple cribs, but he used to always like be at my mom's crib. So he used to always still have his room. So one day I just had the key to this nigga room. So I'm going to his room. This nigga had like a big ass like two shoe boxes full of blockbuster DVDs, but they fucking pornos. He ain't never returning to midgets, is he? No, so this is so. <laughs> I go and I grab him. I'm like, damn! And there's like multiple copies of them bitches. So I go to. Shout out to the homies from the heist. I go and I get to pass them shits out. Mm. Like, nigga, my brother ain't even gonna see these bitches. He don't even give a fuck about coming over here. So I'm passing them pronouns out, boom. So one day my mom, she like, eh, she's like, where? Oh shit. Where? The- oh shit. <laughs> she's like, who was in his room? My heart dropped. I'm like, she gotta be talking about something else. Like, I was wearing his clothes. I was doing all types of shit. So I'm thinking, I'm praying she's just talking about his clothes. Like she's seen his clothes in my room. Is up. She said, Mommy, what, what, what are DVD? I said, What DVDs are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Mind you, I'm like, fucking, I think we was like 13, 14. I just passed the whole hair on high DVDs, smack DVDs, pornos. Everybody had hey. Yo, for some strange, my, I think the day before, my mom had went in his room just to search his room. I think he had got in trouble. Something happened. He probably got into some legal trouble. So she just searched his room. So she seen the box full of pornos. <coughs> For some strange reason, I don't know if I just left left like a trail, probably left the box, moved somewhere. I, she just happened to go in there, seen the box was open, seen that there was no pornos in there. Yo, you know, she made me go to the Heights, right? And go to everybody crib and ask for the DVDs back, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Damn. That's, That's like a walk of shame. Give me the porno back. <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> Dog, bro. <laughs> and you got to ask low key so you knock yeah. it. You're like, come, yeah. come, on, come on. Hey, bro. Man, hey, hey bro. I need to. <laughs> <laughs> I need the little womp womp back. No, <laughs> nigga, she right there next to me. Like, she make me ask me. Some of them, they, 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 they
I need that that thing. I was talking about, I'm like that DVD. That's damn near a skit. You get on Pornhub right now, what category? Oh uh, man, threesomes with bitches. All three yeah. three, three bitches. I can't really watch. I'm Ebony everything. Yeah, yeah. Ebony. But I just can't watch. I can't. Threesome. It's just, I don't know. I can't watch a nigga. Or girl on girls. Y'all like girl on girls. That's me and shit. Y'all like the Asian chicks? <laughs> what the fuck? I ain't y'all? never. <laughs> <laughs> so I done see some thick ass Asian chicks on Twitter. Really? Matter of fact, Twitter is definitely it. Twitter. Yeah, Twitter show you Twitter all. Lit. Twitter is lit. Like, Twitter is better than Pornhub to me. Yeah. It is. Facts. Like, Twitter is crazy. But the videos ain't long enough. The whole you just. <laughs> you know how you do it? Getting <laughs> off at two seconds is crazy. No, no. <laughs> two seconds. So you gotta watch who you follow. You gotta watch who you following. See? See? Two see? 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 That's how I know you ain't really on there. You gotta that follow is. the right people. You feel me? The right the right pages. They got like five minute videos. You going post to post. Man, what? And it's adding up to two minutes. Man, what? No, <laughs> hell no. Hell, buying videos. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm just growing. Two seconds is crazy. Mine is crazy. Mine is insane. Mine is crazy. You know what mine is? You don't know mine is. Okay, I'm just saying, what is mine is? I almost crushed me. Oh, I almost crushed me. Ooh, I'm trying to think of do it for the vine. I don't know. Do it for the vine. No, I ain't going to do it. <laughs> hey, man. Shut your business out one more time. Pretty clean. Hold on. You do the content, too, though. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. follow me on TikTok at Pretty Nosh. Um, I do clean on TikTok and voiceovers. Yeah. How is that? You like it? I love it. <laughs> What's your favorite voiceover? Um, my voiceover. Your own? Yeah. Fire. I don't even have to show my face ever. Just people attracted to my voice and my, my voiceovers. So, yeah. You do got one of them voices. Do I? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So I guess that's all good. <laughs> <laughs> so you can follow me on TikTok um, and on Facebook and Instagram. MySpace. I think my window's open. And yeah. book your clean name. to go. <laughs> <laughs> that was thunder. Yeah. Oh, oh all right. This has been another episode of Better Late Than Never podcast. <laughs> <laughs> it's been but, another episode but, but. <laughs> Better Late Than Never podcast. Come with that one. <laughs> you already know it's your boy. Mo Harlem. Follow me Mo. Wait, what's my shit on there? Mo Harlem on the gram? Yeah. yeah. One of them shits. Yeah, follow me on that shit. And I be on TikTok doing my thing too. Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> Fuck out of here. No, I say no. Just follow all platforms. We on there. Shout out to our subscribers too as well. Boulevard Easy, man. Boulevard.easy on the gram, man. Fuck with us. Pretty nice. I already introduced. One more time, I ain't gonna hurt you. Polo Frost, shout out to Pretty Nice coming through. Make sure y'all subscribe. We'll see y'all next week. Hey, hey, hey. Free my nigga Julie, dog. Free Julie. Shout out to Sweet 328 Studios. We'll just free her.